What's going on guys? So I am out here at the dump trailer about to do a little modification. So if you guys recall, shortly after getting the trailer, I installed this Kraken lock on the front. This basically locks this adjustable hitch from being able to be removed and replaced with another one so somebody seals the trailer. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna replace this one with a version of this made by Fort Knox locks that they sent me for evaluation. So this is a great lock. I don't have anything against it. I think it is a very good design overall. It works really well. It secures it with a lock right here. And then when you open this up, you have access to the bolts if you need to remove it. Let's do that right now. So there you go. So you have the two bolts that are in there that hold this all in place and prevent somebody from quickly tampering it. Well, I want to show you kind of a competitor to that and another solution for this as well, made by Fort Knox Locks, which I use on all my trailers. They are absolutely amazing locks. And they use this really cool kind of puck style lock system with an abloy cylinder inside of it. Now I know everyone loves to reference lockpick lawyer and other lockpicks who can break into various types of locks. I'm not sure if they ever cracked an abloy, but maybe they have. That being said, I don't really think a lawyer who has a YouTube channel about locks is gonna sneak his way onto my facility here to try to steal my trailer. At least I hope not. And really good locksmiths should be able to open any lock because that's kind of their career. It's kind of like saying you're a professional welder but you don't know how to weld. Anyways guys, if you reference Lockpick Lawyer opening locks, that's great. That's what he does. That's what he's an expert at. That's his profession and he should be able to open up just about any kind of lock because that's what he's good at. That being said, we are going to remove this lock assembly and we're going to replace it with a version of this from Fort Knox Locks. Okay, so it's removed. All I had to do was open it up, remove the two nuts off the end, slide that out, and we're gone. Now, even though this is a really great system and I have no problems with it, what I wanted and the reason why I am going to the Fort Knox system is not just to evaluate it, but because all my keys will be keyed the same then. So basically the key that unlocks the hitch off of this trailer will be the same as my cargo trailer, which will be the same as my goose box. So this gives me a lot of flexibility to use one key as opposed to carrying several keys around. If I only had this system and I didn't have to worry about the other locks, then I'd probably just stick with this. However, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new system from Fort Knox so everything's keyed the same. Let's quickly take a look at it. And if you missed the video on this socket set that I have, again, it's this thin wall, double-sided socket set. Really compact, really easy to carry with you if you need to carry a set of sockets to remove your wheels or whatever you might have to do on the side of the road or you just do a lot of projects where having eight different sizes of socket would really help. Like I said, this thing's only about, I think it's under 40 bucks. And when I featured it on my channel, I know a ton of people bought it. So something that I use all the time, I use these probably more than any other socket set I have. They are impact rated, so you don't have to worry about that. I use it with my DeWalt 20 volt brushless XR uh, impact driver and works really well. So I'll probably put a link to these also in the description if that's something you're interested in. So the Fort Knox solution is a little bit different design. It's a little bit, I guess, more compact in some ways, but a little bit larger in other ways. If we position the two next to each other, you can see the different approach to it. So that's essentially how it would go on. This lock right here has a definitely a shallower profile to it, but the lock is built on board, whereas the Fort Knox lock system uses one of their puck locks with the abloy cylinder. And that's important because you can get other style puck locks, but getting it with the abloy cylinder is what really differentiates this from others. And I know there's ways to compromise them. At the same time, this is a great deterrent and that's really what they're designed to be. So we're gonna open this one up. We're gonna get it installed. Okay, so one of the things that Fort Knox locks did that's different from the Kraken lock is they didn't want to weld dissimilar metals to each other. And when I say dissimilar, it's not like one's aluminum and one's steel, but this framing is made out of mild steel, whereas the bolts are made out of grade eight steel. And apparently the process of welding grade eight to mild steel can kind of weaken the joint a little bit. So with their setup, they've approached it a little bit differently. Instead of using a bolt plate where the bolts are welded to a plate, they've used one of these bolts that has a pin through it. So 
one of the bolts you'll tighten down all the way and then the other bolt you are going to put through and drop the pin in and that's in case somebody tries to break your your bolt off they won't be able to it'll just spin and because the channel here doesn't squeeze against the tongue it really doesn't really matter so the coupler itself is kind of loose inside of here and it's not really loose but it is a little loose so by using this setup with one bolt here it's going to give you a way to try to prevent somebody from trying to back the bolt out which is kind of interesting so we'll go ahead and get that installed okay so to mount the new one i am going to first put the top bolt in and then the bottom bolt in you'll see that the top bolt is a little bit longer it's about a half an inch longer than the factory bolt. The kit does not come with two bolts. It comes with one with a hole drilled through it, and then the other one is one of your existing bolts that you'll use. So, what you'll then do is take your mounting plate, and you're gonna put your mounting plate over it like so. Put a washer, and then slowly start the nut. Then you're gonna put a washer, and then start the nut on the bottom one as well. It helps to have an adjustable wrench to put on the other side. And then fasten them on. Okay, now that you have them both on, you're simply gonna take your pin right here and you're gonna lock your pin. Just had to rotate that bolt head just a little bit so I could get the pin to go in. And then you're gonna put it right here. So even if they find a way to start to back that off, the pin's gonna prevent it from backing off completely, preventing them from stealing this. Now to lock it, all I'm gonna do is take this end plate, put it over the whole assembly, and they include an aluminum shim. So they have this piece right here. If there's any play, if this piece goes in and you don't want there to be any play. So you can take your shim, simply put it over like that. Take your lock, put it over. See, I won't need the shim, so I can take the shim out. Check that out completely secured. It is a cool system right there. And it's a little bit more compact in terms of, again, the height. It doesn't extend all the way down like the Kraken lock. It comes out a little bit more this way. It's about an inch and a half deeper overall, but you can see it provides a ton of protection. And that's really nice. So I'm going to be using this system for a while. Again, I don't really have anything against the Kraken system. I think it was a good system, but I'm going to give this one a shot just to see how I like it. And I think it's going to provide just the same amount of protection. Um, I do like the fact that they use a different bolting system that really prevents the chance that someone's going to unwind your bolts. But once you start loosening them, I think that the nut on the inside would just spin anyways, and you don't have to worry about that. But this just, again, prevents somebody from gaining access, taking your coupler off, installing a new coupler, and then taking your trailer. So I will put a link in the description if this is something you're interested in. Again, it's another product from Fort Knox Locks. I have these on all of my trailers. I am happy with the Kraken product as well, so nothing negative to say about it. But if you are interested in getting everything keyed the same and you want to go to kind of one universal system, this is something you're definitely going to want to take a look at. As far as pricing, I'm not sure what the pricing is as of right now. They did provide this lock to me for review and evaluation. So I will put pricing in the description or just a link to their website so you can see what that pricing is if you're interested. And if you're concerned about this little gap that's here at the top, you really don't have to be simply because there's nothing you can really gain from there. Even if you put a crowbar inside of there, you won't be able to access the locking mechanism or the bolt itself. So it'd be very difficult to gain access to this. And the materials on this are a quarter inch thick steel plate. So this is very, very robust material. Again, I really don't think that there's any easy way to compromise this. You probably have better luck trying to get through the lock somehow as opposed to trying to get through the, the coupler or this vault attachment. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We will talk to you again very soon.